Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Kinsey. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future uploads. But if you didn't know, today is National Mean Girls Day, October 3rd, which is a great day to be alive. For the past few weeks, I've definitely been on a Mean Girls kick, and I always have it playing in my room. It's literally paused on my TV right now, so I'm really into it. I've also been really into green tea lately because I have been sick for like four weeks now, and this is the only thing that makes me feel better. Help. So for today's video, in honor of Mean Girls, I wanted to do a whole video on 10 life hacks to be a girl boss. So basically, girl life hacks, if you don't know what a girl boss is, defined by Sophia and Maruso in the Girl Boss book, it's basically someone who takes control of their own life and is a boss, basically. And is cool and powerful and independent and awesome. So, I, like probably many of you guys, strive to be more of a girl boss every single day. This may sound like really cheesy, but it's just true. So, I'm going to be giving you guys my advice on things that I think help, some like actual really good advice, some random life hacks, stuff like that. So, I'm really excited for this video. I've been wanting to do it for quite some time. Also, I wanted to mention that I've been doing Instagram videos and like hair tutorials and makeup tutorials and stuff. So, if you guys are interested in how I've been doing my makeup and stuff, be sure to go check out my Instagram because I have been doing a ton over there. So, in honor of National Mean Girls Day, I am working with Pocket Gyms to show you guys episode. Episode is a fun interactive mobile story platform. You get to make your own choices as you play through the game. So basically you're making your own life choices like a girl boss. They have Mean Girls senior year right now, but there are plenty of other stories that you guys can choose from just like Netflix. It's the perfect app for you if you guys like drama, but don't like to actually experience drama. Like you get to have a little virtual drama thing. And I guess if you actually like drama, it's good for you too. But this is perfect because it's not real. It's just on an app. So no one gets hurt. You don't have to actually deal with the drama, but it's virtual. So you kind of get like a little bit of drama out of your system. You can even write your own story, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the app really quickly. So here I am just talking to Regina and Katie, or Caddy, if you guys get the reference, which if you're watching this, you definitely should. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to go make my avatar, which is always my favorite thing about these games, is like getting dressed out and picking out my look. I just find that so fun. But there's also like the debate scene, first kiss with Micah, there's a red carpet at prom and prom. So it's a lot of fun. And yeah, here I am again, just picking out my avatar. You can download the app for free and play the Mean Girls episode by using the link that'll be down in the description box. Definitely go check it out. It's really cool and I like how there's a lot of stories and I really like the whole Mean Girls senior year theme. So I thought that was really cool. So be sure to go check that out. Okay, so my first life hack and how to be a girl boss is something that I think is so important and it is to read books. I know not everyone is a reader, but honestly, the way I look at it is reading is investing in yourself. So you either like gain knowledge or you can read fiction even, but I normally read nonfiction and I love Girl Boss by Sophia Amoruso, Did I Ever Wake Up by Monson, You're a Bad Word, that's sold at Urban. Um, those are my three top favorite books. I will link some down below for you guys to check out because they are amazing, trust me. Even last night I was with my friend Mercedes and I was like, you have to read these books, they are awesome. So definitely check them out, read the books, you learn so much and it's just very empowering. I don't know how to describe it, but invest in yourself and invest some more time in yourself into gaining more knowledge. Okay, life hack number two, have me time. It is so important. This is something probably out of this whole list that I struggle with the most. Just turn everything off and relax and just have time for yourself so you can read in this time. I would definitely recommend listening to podcasts. Girl Boss has a podcast as well. Um, I also listen to a few other ones that I will have linked down below if you guys are interested. Um, podcasts are another way to just kind of gain knowledge and just kind of become more independent. Like I learned so much by listening to this stuff, but you can also like put a candle on, maybe watch a movie, have a bath bomb, like bubble bath night and just relax and just hang out with yourself because doing that is so important and especially in gaining independence and like being fine with being alone. I think it is so important. So life hack number three, this is actually gonna change your life if you have a Krispy Kreme near you. I went from like deep stuff to Krispy Kreme, anyways. Um, basically, if you want free Krispy Kreme donuts for life, this is the hack for you. So when you get the receipt at Krispy Kreme, at the bottom, there's a survey that you can fill out for a free donut. Then when you go and take that back to them and then get your free donut, you get another receipt. And so then you can do the survey and you keep doing it and you literally get free Krispy Kreme donuts for life. Maybe try not to go back to the same person every time, but I thought that was like amazing. I saw this online and I was like, I have to tell them. Life hack number four is to exercise. I like how this is right after the donut one. I didn't even plan that, but um, exercising is another way to invest in yourself. It helps so much if you struggle with anxiety or you're stressed out or you're mad about something. It helps to take your aggressions out, but it also is a time that you can spend working on yourself 
and I think it is so important. Find an exercise that you like. I love spin class. I want to take kickboxing classes, um, but if you just like running by yourself, like this can literally be a free thing. You can just run around your neighborhood or even use YouTube and do like vlog -lotties or something, but working out and just investing again back into yourself and putting yourself first is amazing. So I would definitely recommend exercise. Another life hack. So I know a lot of us love coffee and girls have pretty busy lives and sometimes we don't get enough sleep. So I'm going to tell you guys how to get a $2 coffee, iced coffee that's good at Starbucks rather than spending like $5. So basically you can go into Starbucks and ask for a triple shot of espresso in a venti cup and then just go fill that up with the milk at the counter and voila, you have a $2 iced latte. That is amazing, you will save so much money and it's just a genius idea. I wish I had known about this before. Number six is to have goals. So um, I think Claudia said this in a video recently which really stuck with me. Have your goals but also know what kind of person you're going, you want to be and don't just sit there and like wait for that to happen. Take action and like take a hold of your own life and make that happen. List out things that the person you want to be would do. Even if it's the smallest thing like turning the lights off, something stupid, it doesn't matter. Just make a list of things that that person would do and the more you do it, slowly you will become that person and I think that's amazing. So. I would recommend that and also if you guys do that tweet me those because I want my channel and my social media to be a place that's very girl empowering and very uplifting and positive and I love hearing about your stories and all of that stuff so please like comment on my Instagram or like tweet me and stuff like that I love getting this stuff from you and tell me what you guys are doing to like better yourselves and better your life number seven have a photo shoot this may seem a little bit superficial which I think is stupid because the second the girls get confidence and feel good about themselves and think that they're beautiful all of a sudden is like a big mess and people think that they're like arrogant and all that stuff which is so stupid it's totally fine to feel beautiful and think that you're beautiful you actually should because you all are and you just should in general I hate people shut up everyone but the reason I'm saying photo shoots is because it's a super fun time and it helps you gain confidence like the more photo shoots I do you feel more comfortable in front of a camera which is cool but also like you get the pictures back and you're like I feel really good about that and myself the creative outlet behind it is really cool, like styling the outfits, working with a photographer. You have like a really cool photographer friend who's like really creative. I do. Hey Joe, if you're watching this. Um, and just like getting ready and like taking the time to like try to look or, or like just anything. Like I just think the photo shoots definitely help gain confidence and they're a really fun thing to do. And then you end up with some cute Instagram pictures after, which is also good. Number eight, this is probably the most life changing one out of all of these to me, which is horrible to say, but my nail polish bottles never open like I don't know if it's just me who has this issue but I always have this issue where they literally just never open so you put a rubber band around the top of it then it just comes undone like you can just take the rubber band and pull it off I know that's probably like a pretty easy one and obvious but I didn't know it so I thought I'd share it with you guys if you guys have problems with nail polish number nine so if you guys want a bra to be strapless and stay up all night. I'm someone who has like a larger chest so it's definitely harder for strapless bras like I never wear them but take this strap and put it under almost like another underwire and it holds them up and it stays in place like it just I tried it out it is life-changing I wish I would have been doing this for like every single time I wore them but try it out next time guys I probably just saved your life hopefully my last girl boss tip is to have a group of girl bosses so my friend Griffin hey Griffin if you're watching this just started this thing it's like this very non exclusive group of girls and we meet and we hang out and we have like a night together and we talk about ideas that we have and it's just a very positive environment and you guys like you get feedback from other people and you just like meet new friends and it's a very like non gossipy super positive uplifting like group of girls who are there for you and I think that is so important so if you don't have that just try to look for it and just try to be that person that starts out like what Griffin did so yeah I think that's like a definitely a big girl boss moment and I think that is something that is so important for women as a whole because we need to stick together instead of tearing each other down which I feel like is something that needs to happen even more like we need to be more positive and more uplifting and stuff all right I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to check out episode I will have it linked down below happy national mean girls day I hope you guys all have an awesome day and I will see you soon love you so much by the way okay bye